So come on now. Who got a problem with what I'm saying? You are now locked in to CEO TV. It's for the people. You heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know why you're here. And it's not because of me. You seen that title? So you had to tap in. So go and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you tap that bell. Imagine what she looked like. When a woman come around, a nigga pull his pants up. Nigga stop cussing. Say, man, put that weed out. Nigga, that woman. A woman aura and presence make a nigga correct his behavior. Not no hoe or no bitch. But we embracing the whole spirit. How you gonna be fucking and it ain't even been six weeks. Your pussy's supposed to heal. But this is what she promote. How you gonna promote? No, I fuck with no rubbers when 5% of the new HIV cases is from age 13 to 18. When 13 years old start catching AIDS, this generation. 85% of the new HIV, um, the new chlamydia cases is teenagers. Cause they learn to fuck with no rubbers. Cause that's what we promote. So that's my problem. It ain't with her. It's with what's being promoted through her lyrics and her music and her image. Because Confucius said he who controls images controls mind. Hip hop right now is a mind controlling tool that's being used for our babies to self-destruct. Come on, man. Who got a problem with what I'm saying? What what nigga got a problem with what I'm saying? I don't. Not at all. So how do you feel like when we speaking on the kids, how do you feel like we bridge the gap between the kids and the adults? Because the kids don't We gotta stop them. talking like this. We gotta start talking like this. Say, look at our little brother. We gotta start getting down this low and talking. Cause this how low the lyrics done got. Say, listen, who is your favorite rapper? Who do you admire? That's how we got that's how. Talking like this, here don't do it. This preaching to the choir. Who got programmed and fearing towards the young girl? Who don't know how to wipe their pussy from front to back? Cause they mama get high. Who teaching a young girl how to protect their pussy? Who teaching the young boys how to protect their seed? Nobody. Clearly nobody. Nobody. Cause we all squabbling online. We all squabbling online. We all fighting over what we believe, but what are we teaching our children on based off what they see? Nobody. So how do you think we fix this out? It's an oh, epidemic. Oh, it, it, well, for one, it start in the mirror. It start when you wake up in the mirror and look in this motherfucking mirror and you brushing your teeth. You fix what's wrong with you. Then you turn around and look at your household. Clean the bathroom, make the bed, clean the room. Then you look at your children and try to fix what's wrong with your children. How you gonna fix the kids in the bed ain't made? How you gonna fix the kids and you ain't bathed last night? You ain't brushed your teeth, you ain't washed your face, but you hollering at the baby. It start in the mirror. Then you come outside the bathroom and look outside the house and see what you need to fix in the house. Then you come out on the porch. Hey, neighbor, how you doing, neighbor? Then you look down the street. Then you come out into the community. But it start in the mirror and in the house. We trying to fix the community before we fix what's in the mirror. Okay, so that mirror don't have no no economical value attached to it. It ain't about power. They can give us all the money in the world. Nothing. We can give us all the money in the world. Nigga still mad at his daddy. Nigga still mad at his mama. Nigga still resent his mama. She still mad because she got molested, but she got the money. Economic fit, but I'm still hurt. I'm still in pain. Money don't fix my childhood trouble. My mama told me I was ugly. This motherfucker suffered from their mama telling them they were ugly when they were four years old. How you got how money gonna fix that? Man, we hurt as a race of people. But it start from mama and daddy, how mama and daddy met each other. Just fucking and then had me. Daddy really don't like mama. Mama really a hoe, but man, they got me. 
Come on now. Your steak, baby. I swear my daddy and my wife fuck you, okay? And I'm the product of that. Your steak, baby. I'm the product of that. Steak, baby. See, and a nigga and a nigga got four mistake, baby. But now he over here with a baby he really want. And he's a perfect daddy over here, but he got three mistake babies over there. The mistake baby resents this nigga in the baby, in the bitch. And the woman do too. Come on now. Come on now. Try to be Okay. Yeah. 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 Good shit, Charles. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, so yeah, that is, it is a lot of hurt in our community. Yeah, man, good. it's trouble. Childhood trouble. Man, our relationship problems stem from childhood. Facts. Nigga can't get along Facts. with his woman because he got issues with his mama and his daddy and his grandmama. Tell him to get your crowd while you got all these people out here. You might be the shortest mama. What's the name? All of the people that's around y'all watching while y'all talking. Mm -hmm. He need to get that on film too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you talking about What you mean? Yeah, he need to film the crowd that's oh, been okay. gathered around y'all. Your cameraman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where well, your, your camera is? Right here. This yeah. my cameraman. Both feet off the ground right there. That's yeah. my cameraman. Yeah. So, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. How could a motherfucker? Cause I'm a real motherfucker too. I'm from the north side of St. Louis, and I say the same thing. You say, but he go on different people. When I'm talking that bullshit, everybody wanna be. Ain't nobody mad at me, but to be the wannabe niggas, the street niggas who can't admit that it's bullshit that they live up to and try to uphold. Or it's the older black man that got the childhood boy value system. Break that down. Well, all the black men that got the childhood boy value system. He still think homeboy. He don't think responsibility. He don't think legacy. He don't think children. Uh, he don't know how to sacrifice himself for the betterment or the empowerment of his family or his community. Right. It's the one with the weed and the dress like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because everybody got the jewelry on. The kings wore the jewelry before the rapper. The preacher wore the jewelry. The preacher got a pinky ring. The minister, whether he's Islam or Arabic, got the ring. So the children are looking for something they connect with. So the nigga that walk into the school that got the bow tie and the hard bottom shoes on, the children say, oh man, nigga ain't telling nothing. So if you don't look like what they admire, if you don't look like what they admire, so God knew that in this generation, you gotta compete with the rap niggas, you gotta compete with the street niggas, you gotta compete with the NFL niggas, you gotta compete with the NBA niggas, you even gotta compete with the work niggas who embrace the culture that all these niggas live and, 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 and breathe and, and exist among. The average working nigga cannot come out and talk to his kids because he don't look like a rapper. And that's crazy. You feel like by coming out like the rapper, that'll make you No, no, I don't feel like nothing. Nigga, I like diamonds and jewelry, cause I know that's what the hoes like when a nigga out walking amongst these women. I know that's what the women are trying to do. It ain't got nothing to do with the motherfucking kids. I put the gold teeth in the mouth for the kids so when I talk, them diamonds twinkle and spark. But nigga, I'm still a motherfucking player, nigga. I want the rain in the watches. And yeah, nigga, I got this. I come from it. Pop your shit, nigga. No, because it got to be on you. This kind of shit got to be on you. No, nigga, we got to be on you. This kind of shit got to be on you. No, nigga, my reason is nigga, I like to move. I like to keep the fresh motherfucking haircut. Nigga, when I was a little bitty boy, I had a rain. Because I wanted to be like Granddaddy Neil. I saw Granddaddy Neil but for long for the rapid nigga. My uncle was a pimp. I saw Uncle Wayne with this shit on. Wayne. Nigga, it ain't got nothing. I ain't influenced by rap. I was influenced by rap as a little bitty boy. But when I became a man, nigga, I been influenced by what mama said. 
by what mama said. Mama said God ain't got no respect to color. God don't favor white folks over black folks. You do right because right is the right thing to do. You do right because right is the right thing to do. Nothing else. Nothing else. Come on now. You do right because right is the right thing to do. And every nigga wanna look like this here. I swear. I thought I'm shit. I swear. I'm like, I ain't doing this shit for nothing. I mean, it ain't my shit. I swear. I swear. Every nigga wanna look. That's why every nigga you see running the Johnny Dane. I ran to a nigga that made jewelry. That's why every nigga you see running the Johnny Dane. I ran to a nigga that made jewelry. Everything that I wear, everything that I put on come from the hands of black folks. Oh, Everything. Yeah, and I do it for free. And I do it for free. Hey, hey. Ain't no way Ralph said that. That's just a, that's, that's just, no, 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 that's just a broke nigga talking. KD Custom Jewelry. KD Custom Jewelry, nigga. KD Custom Jewelry. I don't know KD's Custom Jewelry. See, that's just a broke nigga that's an AP. No, no, this an AP. That's an AP. That's an AP. See, he don't even know what it is. He can't see the Arabic letters on it. Yeah, yeah, he just talking. He just talking. He just talking. He just talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just talking, baby. Nigga, nigga in the stands talking when I'm on the field playing. Preach, nigga, preach. Yeah, nigga in the stands always hooping and hollering when I'm on the field playing. Preach. As a professional. Yeah. Biggest pro in the world, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. Say, man, this is a nigga. Black man, 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 Oh, say, I don't know what no black man made. I'm all nigga. I'm all nigga. What's the difference? I mean, it's a big difference. The black man didn't come around to the 80s or the 90s. The uh, niggas were here since the beginning. <laughs> the niggas were brought here. Man, and then the real. niggas were made because there's a book on how to make a nigga slave. Yeah. How to make yeah. a nigga slave. Yeah. The black motherfucker didn't come along until the nigga learned how uh, to read and write. And that was the Negro's children. See, you had the nigga first. Now, first you had the African slave. Yeah. Then you had the nigga. Then you had the color. Then you had the Negro. Then you had the just black. Then you had the African American. Now you got the hip hop baby. This nigga talking black. Nigga black ain't shit. I'm all nigga. That's why I talk nigga nation. That's why I talk nigga nation. I'm a brown skinned nigga. I'm a nigga nation. I'm brown. And I'm nigga nation. And I don't want to hear shit no yellow nigga talking about. I'm a nigga nation. I'm a nigga nation. And I don't want to hear shit no yellow nigga talking. My grandmama wouldn't even let a yellow baby eat at the table. My grandmama, 84 years old, the yellow babies couldn't even eat with us. Why? Because they wasn't black. <laughs> My grandmama, 84, and the yellow babies couldn't even eat down with us. And this was, I was born in 77, they my birthday. I can't stand no yellow niggas talking to no niggas. That know his history. A broke nigga put security on this bitch ass. Get him knocked out. Get security put on this bitch ass. Cause the whole ass nigga feel some kind of way. Whole ass nigga interrupting a pay for interview and he ain't paid for shit, bitch ass nigga. Get your bitch ass on, nigga. This woman the paid, nigga.